Anthony. So welcome back, guys. Um, Hello, this is podcast. Podcast. 101. Um, um, this is the genius podcast. That we this talk, is um, a mentally about. handicapped version of The View. Um, uh, today, today we're joined here by... Uh, Conan. I wish. I really <laughs> fucking wish that our, our Lord and Savior would come. Our friend... Hello, my name is Vladimir Ra- Ramos. And I thought your name was uh, Vladimir F- uh, Faggot. <laughs> Alright, Vladimir so Faggot. Yeah, this is Cody Fucker, and that's Anthony uh, Ching. Why are we oh, talking in the smooth, uh, ja- smooth, jazzy voices? Because it sounds sexy. Okay, first up in our topic. First topic, I want to get th- I want to get down with this uh, thing you were just saying earlier. Why it's still, still fresh in my head? What? China? Ch- China's raining. Yes, it's being flooded by rain. So much rain that it's starting to flood. See, that's the so here's the ironic thing, Eve. Uh, the neighbors in the west <laughs> are are drowning in a drought. See, we in California are in a big fucking drought. China is fucking you know getting the rain. How ironic! I think it's a Chinese plot. No, it's I because know. the government rain stealing technology. I think China already discovered the method to control weather already. Yeah, but it doesn't really help them if all that all that rain in the sky coming down is all filled with toxins. Hey, wait. When we were driving, mm-hmm. did we see thunder? No, no. That must when, have been your imagination. No, you remember when we were going to the gun range and then we saw thunder out of nowhere? Or was that with someone else? I think you were drunk or something. You're going I don't know. Else. I saw thunder. I think it was with my cousin. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, you know, we were getting... getting Oh, yeah, here's another thing. If you didn't think the drought was that bad, you know the Colorado River? Yeah. You know, that's where we uh, get our water source for California. Uh-huh. It's running out. No, uh, they uh, found that there was a leakage in the Colorado River. Uh, all these big chemicals and toxins, which can cause <laughs> serious problems, Are you is, in our water? Uh, is in our water now. <laughs> Let's go drink Coke. Mm-hmm. At least we'll Isn't that- Coke made of half water? Yeah, <laughs> ain't that a trip? Crap. <laughs> well, you see, here's now here's a good thing about living in San. Here's the perk of living in San Francisco. What? We get our own private water. We get our own private hetch hetchy water. Yeah, mm. don't we have it with Mexico or something? Mm, we have our hetch hetchy water is like it Doesn't comes it come from, from Nevada. It comes from a dam. It comes from a dam, and it's like like one of the the best drinking waters in America. No, uh, I heard that we share it with Nevada or something. Is it because we're rich, or is it because we were like... It's we're, we're rich. Because we're pricks, and it's like, ah, fuck your water, we want real water. Yeah, yeah, we're, it's because we're pricks. It's like, we're going to use this water, we're going to use this water in our showers. That's how rich we are. Hey, why don't they just use it the opposite way? Use the shitty water to shower and the good water to drink. Well, that's what they should be doing. That's kind of fucked up. No, that's what, no, they don't want to waste the good water. Hmm. You know, like, What's your thoughts, Anthony? <laughs> I don't know. How do you feel that China in five years is going to uh, die of dehydration? And hunger. Is it proper propaganda or is it real? No, it's real. It's like the Chinese uh, government does not want people to know. <laughs> hey, they're probably taking us down right now. Damn it, YouTube, because uh, they control half the internet. Mm. They do. Wait, how many <laughs> episodes do we have so far? Uh, shit, I lost count. En- enough to upload onto the e tubs and make about two cents. <laughs> two cents or two cents for your bitches. Yeah. So, uh, Anthony. Okay, yeah. We were uh, discussing a topic yesterday. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, about that. Would you rather be a uh, black, Hispanic, Mexican, Jew? Or, uh... No, it was two questions. I, my first one was... Well, this first one will just apply for me and you because uh, Vlad's already by default uh, Hispanic. <laughs> so would you rather be Hispanic or black? That, well, they both have gains and uh, downfalls. I know, but... The Africans let's, get a... let's, uh, before we go into this question further, let's ask a, a professional who has, has chosen his side. <laughs> well... What's it like being a mix? In San Francisco... It's like uh, normal. Once you leave the city, you feel the difference. Feel the difference how? <laughs> they're more. 
They look at you because you're fucking Mexican, and they try to, they like they eyeball you. You look like a, they think you're gonna go steal or some shit like that. Okay, mm. okay. Well, now, what? well, in California it's fine. I mean, once you leave the city. <laughs> no, once you go down to LA. LA, I the mean, they treat the you. Blacks hate you. Black hate. I mean, if you so get, a, I would, get along with everyone. But if you were to choose, would you want to be something other than Hispanic? Not really. If you got to re-roll the dice. I want to be a money-grabbing Jew. Because we get away. They get a better guilt trip. That's true. Would, <laughs> would you ever want to be black? Nah. Yeah, me neither. See, if I had to choose between that, that my answer is easy, too. I want to be Hispanic. Because, you know, here's the, here's the reasons why. Okay. You got to look at the perks. Like, okay, black, you're cool automatically. You get a big dick. But for the Mexicans, if you become Mexican, you get a big family. If you're, you know, black, you never know who your father is. <laughs> That's the downside. And you get to speak Spanish. But then again, your English wouldn't be that great. But you still get to speak two languages. You're born with that. I don't know. That's pretty good perks. Yeah, sure but enough. that depends if your parents want to teach you Spanish. Well, most of them do. The ones who come from another country. Of course, am... of course they come from Mexico. How do you think they got you in here? Well, and... there's two, uh, so, how, two uh, occasions. You actually start out speaking Spanish... Then learn English, or it's the other yeah, way around? I think it's mostly Spanish, and then you learn <laughs> English as you... Because they expect, like, the schools to teach you, I think. Hmm. Pretty much. Anthony, so what would you choose? Rather be black or Hispanic? I thought Anthony well, hated the Hispanics. Uh, maybe I should be... Would be cool, but... Cool, and you have a big dick, but you'd be getting pulled over the, by the police left and right. But that's only in the old age. <laughs> oh, you think? Yeah, I know. Look at fucking Ferguson. <laughs> yeah, but and for the African, uh, for the uh, Hispanics, we actually have a big family. Big family. There's a lot of perks, but there's also some downsides too. What are uh, the downsides anyway? You well, no, everyone in your family, including all your friends, live in your house. Well, well that's true. <laughs> a house of fucking seven. You'll never have peace or quiet. No, the biggest thing is they'll always think that uh, you'll never accomplish anything. You're just going to be a gardener or something. Say like, school. Why do you need that? I mean, depends on your parents. If your mom graduated college, then you. Well, let's say they're they're like straight out of like Mexico. I mean, my mom graduated college. I just didn't. Want, I just hate school. Oh, okay. Hmm. Mister uh, non-education. Hey, hey I look at look who's talking, Anthony. Hey, look who's talking. I'm I'm looking. I'm I'm working in a. I'm I mean, living a free not... life. Okay, that's what I want. You mean being homeless? I mean, Anthony, Not you yet. don't even study for anything, and you don't have a job, and I can't, and I have a career. And I go to school. You still go? I mean, I'm a fucking electrician. I, helper. I, I fucking went into that fucking uh, summer class this uh, semester, like practically, with a no no give a shit attitude. I got a fucking A. Yeah, maybe because you got the. <laughs> Anthony, you, you gotta find a way to fix your life. You're Don't the oldest. Whoa, what is with what, what is this uh, Dr. Phil looking uh, like talk you giving him? You gotta fix your life. Anthony, I really think you gotta fix your life. Go to school. Go to school. Don't make me hit you. Your anger, is it because your parents left you when you were a kid? <laughs> Tell me, Anthony, or was your brother because he picked on you very much? It's okay, we're in a safe spot. We're in a safe zone. Did, did someone ever ever touch you funny once? Because I'm Dr. Phil. Get back here, you. Let me right, strangle you. <laughs> yeah, I like how we're nine minutes in and he already tries to kill you. I gotta try to kill Hey, uh, we yeah, took him to the hardware store and he was all looking at the ask. Oh, we should eat here. Is this one better to handle? <laughs> He's all swing. <laughs> Good thing I didn't take him to the gun range. Yeah, he would have shot you by now. Yeah. Yes, maybe. Yes, yes. What's our next topic? Uh, no, we're still on the race topic. I wanted to ask one that actually applies to Vlad, too, now. Oh, I want to be a Jew. Uh, really? Oh, well, how did you know I was going to ask be a that money question? Person? How did you know he was gonna, I was going to ask him that question? Would you rather be a Jew or a Muslim? Why a Jew? Here's the answer. You get to play the guilt trip a lot. You um, you get money out of nowhere. 
Pretty uh, much. A lot of people hate you. But either. you have a shitty history. I have a shitty... But at least I have a family history. At least I could trace my family all the way back to the beginning of... Uh, that's true, but it's still all those all those uh, all those family members will be somewhere in Auschwitz once. Well, we uh, maybe I could trace my family to someone taste. that's rich, and then we can go grab their <laughs> inheritance. Well, I that's know. true. You can guilt trip them to death to practice like you Germans. Where's my money? Yeah, see? we Chinese also have a rich history, which yeah, is being trying, which we were trying to get rid of. Yeah, you two want, want you got. China wants to forget their entire history. It's weird. The good history. And the bad history. Well, no, not the bad history. They <laughs> love bringing they love bringing up the bad history, but they never bring up the good history. Like how you got raped by... They want to uh, the good history and want to bring up the bad history. They're only... Yeah, they only... Like, say... They say China began in 1940-whatever, and it began with Nanking. That's all they ever talk about. Nanking. That's well, sort of like the second, uh, that's like a guilt trip uh, for China. It uh, is. When up being, uh, the Only Jewish the Japanese people. don't give a shit. <laughs> and in fact, they, they, they encourage it. They want to deny it. it completely. I know. It, it, yeah, because, <clears> you know, it's fake. Um, is it the same thing as the Turks and, and those Christians? In the Armenian genocide? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have a, a rich history of having Chinese emperors coming and going. Of uh, course, that's due tell to... Tell that to the Communist Party. But that's mostly due to the fact that... We keep losing emperors, mostly due to war or because they die early. Yep. But being emperor is very bad, not even good for your health. Wait, do not. they talk about, um, what's his name, the Mongolian guy? Genghis Khan? Yeah. No, no, never happened. Never happened? <laughs> never happened. You want to deny that as well? Yeah, they want to deny everything. They say communist, no, though, there's always been a communist party. <laughs> Duh. Well, wait, so does Russia, did Russia do that? Or has it done that? Or is it going to do that? It has. I mean, Russia did that before China. Only, they didn't really erase their history that much. Well, yeah, they kind of did. They say, oh, Russia, communist Russia is your history. Oh, so they said, oh, in 19... 18. 18, that is when the, yeah, that's when the, uh, that's when the October Revolution happened. Yeah, the first one and then the second one. Anyways, so, um, yeah. Communism. It's really bad, kids. Stay away from that stuff. Yeehaw. All right. It's funny because China would actually be a really cultural place if it wasn't for those uh, communist uprisings. That's true. We also, we also have that other thing that we kind of got lost through history as well. What? Uh, the, uh, that special uh, summer home that had the, had the uh, like, you have a fly in your head. I do? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's That gone. thing just flew in your head. Wow. Up there. Oh, it left. It's up there. Oh, oh. oh. I can't fucking... Right there, left. Why well, do you guys care about a so stupid anywho, fly? So, uh, back to the topic. So, we have that. We had the Chinese emperor who had a summer home. And in that in the garden, they had at least, like, the, all 12 uh, zodiac heads made up of, like, gold. Or was it bronze? Uh, and okay. the, every one of those heads were, after being sort of, like, invaded by the... Uh, by modernization of the... From the, like, West... The countries, the those people, traveling people, they t- uh, sort of like ransacked the place and took all twelve. Only uh, like half of those have ever been found. Who ransacked it? <clears throat> the e- Europeans. Cool. Oh, because okay. uh, the Europeans love half of those gold. have been found. Half. Of hey, those... haven't you learned anything from the Spanish? They love gold. Hey, they got rid of bron- that golden I think city. Bronze. Wait, was El Dorado? El Dorado. Was that a real city? El Dorado. <laughs> you mean uh, the city you... of gold? See you go. It was. I don't know if it was real. Akator. I mean, explain how. Why are they rich? Because they had. They stole everyone's gold. Well, Spain's not rich now. Look at them. Because they spend it on stupid stuff. Pretty much. But still, it's like fucking. Um, yeah. Uh, Spain. Spain really kind of fucked up, but they grabbed a lot of land. I'll give them that. Didn't they have more than England? And then England had more than them later Eventually, on? Eventually, because they just lost it all, because, you know, Spanish. A lot of this stuff like that happens. Anyway. That explains where we, where we get our alcoholism. And why you like, and why some of you are really violent. <laughs> Spanish are really violent. And how you like, you know, the whole cockfighting, and how, like, you always have to have a, you know, a good with the ladies. Like, hey, ladies. And that's why we have to act like machos. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Spain. Spain fucked us over. Uh, At least you're not mixed. You're pure. Yeah, Asia got away good. You're, you're half half. 
I'm a, I'm just a new breed. New breed of Mexicano. Yep. <laughs> Feels like we got off topic here. So what's our, what's our topic? Well, what, our topic was: Would you rather be Jewish or uh, Muslim? I picked Jewish. What are you Answer pick? me. The bad part of it. I mean, you actually mentioned this about having putting a gun to your head. Yeah, like if that. someone were to like put put a gun to your head and said, "Okay," um, now he's put, he doesn't put the gun to your head. He puts it right up your ass, and it will, the bullet's so powerful it'll shoot up your ass up to your head. Yeah. Um, okay, so. He says, okay, you got to pick either uh, Judaism or uh, fucking Islam. At least I'll... You can't get out of that. You have to pick Islam if... Uh... Or you take the bullet. Oh, you take the... Yeah, that's... <laughs> Actually, you yeah. know what? If you, if you did that, I was like, can I please <clears throat> take the bullet? I don't want to be either or. If I'm going to die, I'm going to, like, die and go to heaven. <laughs> no, but if I... Okay, but no, okay. Let's say you were, like, really, you really had to, you really had to choose. Okay. Uh, I probably... Well, uh, I'd probably take, pick the lesser of two evils if I have to. And that would be? I mean, I don't want to actually want to die. I'd have to... T- and being... Uh, and like... T- t- even if I have to, I don't think I can get out of it. If I, Even if I do mm, try. So what are you actually saying? Because that doesn't really tell me. Saying, you want to be a Jew or a Muslim? That's an easy question. The main thing is that if I, if I did choose the... Uh, I die if I choose one. I don't die, and I can't get. No, out. You, well, you die both ways. All, all right, here, Anthony. Let's make it super simple. You get to get born. You're as born. A Jew yeah, or born a is a, okay. Yeah, that's even better. You're born as a Jew or a Muslim. What would you? No threat. No threat. No strings attached. Okay, that's just gonna be even harder for that. How is it harder? You just pick. See, it kind of, it kind of becomes a little easier for, for me. Or harder. I don't know. No, it becomes hard when somebody puts. What, the, gun, the become, gun to your head? Yeah, it's, well, no, it's easier, quicker. You'll it, you'll think without reaction. Yeah, I'll be like, Christianity, bitch. I'll be like, shoot, <laughs> it's like, see ya. I mean, seriously, fuck Judaism, fuck Islam. Like, Christianity is like the more like laid back one. I choose that one. But a- you could be day. a Jew Christian. Well, good luck on that. I'd actually choose or a Jew the, Catholic. Like I said, I choose the Catholic lesser two Jew, that's, that's and become that. Muslim for a thing. Okay, he becomes Muslim. Okay, that's, that's uh, okay. Even I, if I will die. What's the explanation between Islam? What is the explanation between that? Why is that the lesser of two evils? I mean, I get to live, but uh, but of course, there's also the. Uh, you get to live with both of them. Yeah. Well, with uh, well, Islam, you get racial profile in the airport. <laughs> that is true. Hey, you would get it too, just for the color of your skin. But I'm white. Oh, right now, but. Well, they would check my ass for drugs. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, Holmes, where's the, where, where, where the cocaine? <laughs> no, seriously, Anthony, I want to know, like, why Islam? Why, why, why you, you said, choose, I mean, why is that the lesser of two evils? I mean, with the gun thing or what not? What, what the being born? Doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm just saying Judaism or <clears throat> Islam. Why, why Islam? Well, uh, is this before the war or after? This is now. Now yeah. in days. Now, yeah, like, so... What, why do you like Muslims better? Uh, yeah, that might... T- have it you, does give sort of like half power. Here's a question. Have you what? ever hanged out with a Muslim? It's not about hanging out with Muslims. I'm wondering, I'm, I'm wanting to know why he wants to be a Muslim. Have you ever... Alright. I think Khalid was once. Yeah, I know. Khalid, Khalid is a fucking one one Taliban. Alright, I have Muslim French. Real life Muslim French. Why you do I sound straw? stupid? Yeah, you sound stupid. Why are you showing that thing? Oh, yeah. It's like I you're having a retainer on. Toss it out. I have real Muslim also friends. Also that as well. If it's they're, they're, they're good people, but they're annoying as fuck. Oh, yeah. They're very annoying. They're great people. I mean, they're good friends and everything, but they'll be like, yo, they'll be like the swag packs. They're trying to be hip and everything. Yeah, I know. Fucking, uh, they're I fucking, uh, the funniest they're thing fucking ever. a bunch of Khaleds. The funniest thing. All right, so I was in a Muslim... Uh, liquor store, well, every liquor store here is owned by a Muslim. Or an Indian or a Chinese. So, I mean, that was two years ago, and then um, I was looking for a job, and then this one guy, hey, you want a job? And I was like, yeah, well, what is it? Oh, you go in the back and pack, um, put sodas away. Oh, that's a screw. And he's like, oh, that's cool, uh, let, me have your phone, like, let me have your phone number. And I give him my phone number, he's like, hey, you want to go watch porn in the back? And I was like, What? what? What yeah, they love they love porn. I, they I, I, love porn. It's like, what, what, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, me, uh, wank it off and watch porn together. Where is he from? What the? Heck? He was a he was a Muslim. 
from a Muslim country? Yeah, and then he's like, well, why are you doing that? Oh, because where I come from, they don't let porn, but the porn here is very good, man. Oh, for a love of <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Anthony, but still, give me your reason. You haven't given me a reason why you uh, why, don't like... Why, <laughs> don't why, 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 yeah, yeah, do that screen. Give me a re- yeah. Give me a reason why you're uh, Muslim. Why you choose Muslim? Um, sort of like half for the power. Maybe. What's the power? I don't know, having guns and stuff. You can have guns either way. Why Islam? That's what I want to know. I don't know. What does? What is? What are the benefits of being that? Uh, benefits of being a Muslim. Here's the here's the downs. You can't eat bacon. You both you can't eat bacon with both of them though. I mean. So. Both that sort of like uh, worship the pig. Both of you get get pretty much yeah. Both of you get cool holidays, the made up holidays. No, they don't. They uh, <sighs> Judaism, really, you know, Judaism. They get a uh, fucking uh, Hanukkah and uh, all these cool holidays. Muslims get Ramadan. That's it. You know what Ramadan does? No. This is where you like starve yourself. Oh, really? No, like, fucking gifts or presents, just, like, shit. And it's like... Well, ah, Africans not... have uh, Kwanzaa, so... Well, you know, I didn't say an African Muslim, I just meant Muslim. Yup, yup, yup. Well, it means you have to pray five times a day and, uh... Die for your ele- elephant god. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. maybe the... I would I thought do that. that was the smelly Indians. Same shit. Elephant god with the pig head. Oh, no, they hate, they hate, no, the Pakistanis hate Indians. They all hate each other. The Muslims More don't hate Indians. They all hate each other. More or less. Yeah. Yeah, they must, they must sacrifice the uh, little virgin boys. I know one. Um, okay, there's that other question. Now that we, uh... What do you think about guns? I own a gun. Okay, there, topic over. Pretty much. What's the next topic? Oh, oh, I want to talk a scenario if we ever let to shoot Anthony shoot a gun. I'll go disastrous. Oh, yeah. You already know how it's going to go. He's going to shoot me or himself. Pretty or much. shoot someone by uh, next to him. Oh, God. I hope he doesn't shoot someone else. You? I, no, like, okay. like, if he shot either, like, me or Vlad, that's okay and everything. But if you shot someone else, Jesus Christ. You fucked Vlad. Who do you think's going to be going to jail? I am. Um, Both of you. Well, I because I gave it to a person who doesn't know and. And it's gun. your and it's your gun, so you're responsible. All right, let's talk about something cool. Okay, so real question. Now that we know, see again, you ru- you're ruled out of this, uh, Anthony. Now that you said what you'd rather want to be, Hispanic or black, if you could only hang out with a certain with a group of Mexicans or blacks, what would you rather choose? Hmm. Now that's the tough one. Yeah, that is tough. Or you want to hang we out? We have the gangster type of black guys, and then we have the other ones. No, we don't. Okay, yeah. <laughs> They're both gangsters. Vlad, uh, even though I know you're, what you're going to say, please tell me, what you, who would you rather hang out with? Neither. Neither? Okay, in, in this taste case, you don't have a choice. I don't have a choice? Yeah, he's one or the other. Yep. Who do you rather hang out with? All right. The, the upsides with black hair with black people, you get to do whatever you want. But then you can never say the N word. And anytime you, you do something, it's like, man, it's fucking his fault. No, no, you get it. If you're Latino and get their trust, they'll let you say the N word. Even still, I wouldn't say that because, you uh-huh. know, the fucking black rage. With uh, Hispanics, um. Or each other, Fucking, uh, yeah, uh, Hispanics. They're cool. They're they're, they're funny and cool, but the thing is, is like if you're not like a fucking Hispanic and you don't speak Spanish, they're gonna like they're gonna mess with you left and right. Yeah, and then um, I mean I love them and everything, but they they get fucking annoying sometimes. They do get annoying, especially that one Hispanic person who makes so much money. He shows off all his shit. Yeah, and yeah, that's and the then, thing. And then and then they're like they're like, oh, uh, what this fucking white boy. <laughs> Yeah, All he's trying to uh, make us feel bad with their money. Uh, with they Asians, they make you feel down. They they bring you down. It's like, oh, you know, Asian, Asian people take over the world, and China's no, the greatest. They, no, they're not <laughs> like that. They're pretty much they're pretty fucking docile. They're no, chill no. and everything, but they have like this really really chill way of telling you to fuck off slowly. Yeah, they start saying that China's like the greatest like, country. No, ever. They're, they're not even that. They just they've been like. Oh, but we're all doing this today, and uh, it's like, don't don't you know? It's like, no, I'm like, oh, well, it's probably because you're not Asian. Like, 
Where the fuck yeah. did that? Where the fuck did that come from? They'll, 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 like, like they say, oh yeah, we're not racist. We're not racist. Uh, but you know, uh, we're gonna eat Chinese food. Uh, I do like that kind of stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, no. they try to they try to take you out of their the group. Um, yeah, they always take you out of their group every time they slowly, not fast. They don't want to get rid of you quickly because they want to get rid of you really slow. It's like yeah, um, yeah. No, but I remember when I was in middle school, I hung out with a lot of Asians. They always said. Uh, no, but China's a greater country. I mean, uh, yeah. Of course it isn't. Right. Why are you, were you hanging out with uh, Chinese Because people? I was going to Hoover and there was a lot of Asians there. Yeah, I hung out with a hell of Chinese people in high school. Hoover? Fucking like Chinese mess out there. No, no, but in high school I hanged out with a whole bunch of racists. No, that's cool. I, I, think, we, I think we all did. Yeah. How about you, Anthony? Who did you hang out most in all your school life? Special, Your own people, special ed. a lot of people, special ed peoples. Oh, we all hang out with special ed. They're the they won't judge you for anything. Yeah, they and will. It's just it's like a free game. Well. It is, but then you know they they're stupid too. Yeah, it's pretty much just like okay, special ed. Different, like I said, I hung out with a lot of different people. I know. Some good, some bad. <laughs> there's good special eds, and then there's us. And there's like fucking Sam, where it's like shut the fuck up, to autistic. <laughs> FYI, kid. they were not special ed. Yeah, he was. Some of them were not. We, special Sam ed. was. We had special Some of the people ed- that I hung out with, out with were not special ed. Like who? That's for me to know and you to never find uh, out. Okay, so, I, so you don't want to admit it. Not really. All right, Anthony, let's go with this. We all had special ed counselors, so we're all special we're ed. We're all special ed here. If we had normal counselors, then we're normal. Pretty. That's pretty much how it works. Go I ahead. mean, how did we meet each other? Special uh, co- well, I met you. I met Anthony because of Cody. Yeah, pretty much. And I met Anthony in middle school. In middle school, I met you. You're my Anna, oldest friend. With, my oldest friend that I met was Eric. Uh, I met I met Vlad because of uh, Josie and Richard. It, pretty much, yeah. Are we allowed to say their name? I, why not? I mean, fucking. It's like, not like people actually know. They who they, they, are. they have became they have become secondary. Characters we never see but always talk about. Yeah. You know, like Kevin. I, I bet mean, you I mean t- cancer. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you they talk <laughs> shit about us. Yeah, I bet you they talk shit like about us all the Sam time. Sam Weiner. Oh, yeah, Sam. Weiner. He's fucking, uh... Oh, I met him in middle school, but good thing he forgot all about me in high school. Oh, you're so fucking lucky. If he would have recognized you and remembered you, you'd be fucked. He was He's probably he- still growing his hair out. Becoming a hipster. You mean a hippie? I know, I gave him the nickname Star Wars. Yeah. Sebastian's a fucking Star Wars. Yeah, but he ain't a whiner, like, so... Hey! Hey, you didn't answer my question, I noticed. And that'd be? Would you rather hang out with uh, Hispanics or blacks? Who are you talking to? Okay, it's gonna be bad either way, so... Just go with the Hispanics. Just go with blacks. I mean, they yeah, go I know, with the blacks because like Mexicans are funny and everything, but they get really annoying sometimes. They do. Uh, at least worse. blacks, it's like, like you'll always be singled out forever. But and, they got your back. But they got. But they cool, you know. They cool. They got. They they feel you. You see. They they feel you. You see. Yes. You feel me. Yes. You feel me, bro. 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 It's it's three sixty no scope, bro. Okay. No, yeah. What else were we going to talk about? Oh, about the Beyblade. Oh, yeah, I wanted to give... Remember Beyblades? What? Yeah, I remember. Yes. Those are the coolest toys ever. Mm-hmm. Yes. Cool toys. You know, I figure it's like... They can do... They can make, like... Like, nowadays, they couldn't pull this shit off. But they made, like, an entire show about fucking spinny tops. Didn't they? And they made it cool. I mean, make... it was fucking stupid, but it was cool. Didn't they do that? Didn't they try that already? What do you mean? With what? Yeah, uh, with what? Oh, yeah. oh that's true. With no, the... aren't they rebo- didn't they reboot it? With the we metal? We don't talk about that. Yeah. No way. I mean, the, complete, the top is complete metal. We're not talking about that metal thing. We don't talk thing. about those. We're talking about the one where the chip inside had the spear, had the Beyblade bay, bay spear piece. You see, it's shit like that that made the sh- show cool, but at the same time... It's because they it's, made it extreme. Yeah, like, okay, it's like it's like they mixed, like, Dragon Ball Z, like, yelling, like, I will activate the Super Bowl. Oh, no, not with that. No, but not with my spinning tire or whatever. It's like, they got, like, that. They mixed it with, like, that all extreme. They mixed it with, like, bruh. 
yeah, bro. Like the skateboarding. And, yeah. And, like, and, and, th- and then they like mixed it with like um, wrestling shit. Like, looks like Tyson has just has just activated his Dragoon special. Oh, well, did you see this? Did you see that thing with the Drasil? Man, Drasil just came out of nowhere. But the shitty thing is when you actually did a tournament with a friend or someone, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Like, what to do? And then you just watch them spin, and then, they, like, yeah. and then they fall down instantly. Well, yeah. uh, that's why the newer generation kind of, like, upped it. Yeah, but it, it still sucks, though. Yeah, It'll never be as cool as, like, they're, like, spinning. <laughs> Have you ever bought the ones with that um, light, supposedly? You mean the battery inside, and yeah. you get to charge it? Yeah, I have. It was... I had I, I had one that actually remote control the ones. Yeah, I, I remember those. Those were cool. But they suck. They always ran out of... Uh, when you spin them... Yeah, oh, okay, he's, 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 okay, you spin him, okay, get ready to recharge him. Yes. I actually like the ones with, remember the ones where you had to crank up the fucking uh, thing on the bottom? Oh, talking about this, I was watching the YouTube video where they were talking about uh, movies, and you, you remember we were also talking about how people, all these movies are now a reference to kids from the 90s, and everything is all true, we're doing this right now. Oh, so? We're doing this whole nostalgic crap. Yeah, okay. we're doing nostalgic, but we are, but we're still in there. Like in the movies, it's still like '80s sh- fags. Term. Okay, well, I, I won't believe. I mean, imagine this. if they made that in a couple next year. They made the Beyblade movie. They're making the Power Ranger movie next year. Uh, a completely <laughs> different version of that. I heard so it's gonna different be, from the two shitty ones. I heard it's gonna be dark. No, it's not gonna be dark. That's the other one you're thinking of the oh. uh, the the YouTube thing that came out like a few months ago. That was the a fan good made one. one. What do you think right? about that one? I didn't like it because it was it was too dark. You mean the fan made one? Yeah, the fan made one. I don't like that. It was too dark. Like Saban looked at that and said, "Yeah, the movie's gonna look like this, but not this dark." Because there was like fucking blood and splattering, and which I don't mind. But it's so like uh, taking something from the Japanese I mean, uh, blood thing. They 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 kind of made it like a, I'm a traitor this whole time. Yeah, and I don't like this. Yeah, that's what I think. I don't, it's the seriousness of it. But you know me. You know you know Power Rangers and everything. It's how serious, serious is it? How how much it's are not the, serious? How much are the characters like? There's no color. There's no character development. Well, they, there are some. I mean, they're, they're just silly. There's problems, but they always fix it with something coming out of nowhere. Don't coming straight them. out of their ass. Yep. Zordon, mm-hmm. save us. Mm-hmm. And, they'll, so, and uh, no one dies off. Yeah. Well, once. Hey. Well, just once. Yeah. Pink Ranger. Yeah. Hey, Vlad, do you remember these characters from the Blade Blade? Yeah, Dragoon, Phoenix. Hell yeah, Dragoon, uh, Drigger, uh, Drasil, and Dranzer. Fuck, I didn't, I just knew Dragoon. Is Dragoon your favorite? No, that Phoenix looking man. Dranzer? Dranzer, yeah. I always figured you'd I like be... Kai, I remember him, his name was Kai, he was a badass. Oh, he was the uh, s- I one of two you leaders. Would, I always thought you would like uh, fucking Tyson or uh, Ray or something like that. Nah, I hated them. They were all dicks. Kai was the coolest. Yeah, he but Kai was like, he betrayed, how many times did he betray his own team? Like twice. That's why he was fucking badass. His black version, he was evil. Uh, it's like, I, I hated him because he, he had like no character development and he... No <laughs> character development. Oh yeah, right. Fucking, I forgot what show this was. <laughs> this is the show about spinning There is no need to, for character development. True. Hey, but did you ever remember that time where they actually, remember when they actually, the, uh, when they used their special ability and the real life people like acting like they're, they were launching the special abilities. What do you mean? I mean, remember the final, ep- the second to final episode. What are you with doing? Don't hit me. Where those two were actually doing the uh, their big fight. Even. The- I mean, the the ending fights were pretty epic. Oh my goodness! The last season. Uh, this like this like they're like. <laughs> they had this whole armor thing. And then they they they, they like then the things this beasts come out of the fucking. They the actually got and they hurt. Fight. They actually got hurt. The they entire stadium they're like, was they're wrecking. Like, they're yeah, wrecking. and then the stadium dis- gets destroyed. Uh, from I mean, little spinny tops. From spinny tops. Compared to nowadays, I don't know. I don't think they could go. You, I mean, what I told did you, you you would what, break that. What did you break? Don't. I told you. You oh, yeah. said no, you would not break that, and you, you broke it. You this thing yet? No, leave it. Don't <laughs> put it back. God. You gonna buy me a new one? Okay, good. Don't touch it again. Oh well, yeah. I kept, t- I kept t- telling him when you're in the bank, like you're gonna break that thing if you keep touching it. It can't be break, broken off. Anthony, it's gonna be broken. Everything can get broken. Yeah. Even things that say it cannot be broken, it can be broken. Hmm. 
there's things that can say that I cannot be broken. I don't know, maybe. So yeah, Beyblades. It was like stupid, but yeah, like I it said, compared to now, to nowadays Metal Fury, uh, they can't compare. We don't talk about that. We don't. You saw uh, the final episode, right? How about Digimon? Right? What do you think about Digimon? Isn't it pretty like dead, deader than dead? Well, it is dead. Pokemon is still alive somehow. Oh, God. It's already scraping the bottom of the barrel. Anthony doesn't like Pokemon. What happened? Didn't they make? Wouldn't they make a Pokemon off of a cup? Pretty much so. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they did. So, what, what would you name this cup? What would be Cupamon? They don't right? end oh. with Mon. Uh, I call it uh, uh, Swinty Blazelton. What the heck is that supposed to stand uh, I get for? it. And then its its next evolution will just be the same, but with mean eyes on it. <laughs> <laughs> What's its final evolution? Uh, uh, mega form. It will be shiny and glowy and have extra wings and everything will be jagged. <laughs> That's pretty much how it works now. <laughs> and then, and then, but then they have that mega for with the stone. Yeah. Mega, mega for wings. I think they're trying to compete with Digimon on that. Oh, with they don't Digimon. have to compete. They they won. They killed off Digimon, Anthony. This yeah, thing, with their retarderism. To, uh, making uh, have another evolution, which doesn't last that long. Mm. Pretty much. So I just realized that you two never liked Pokemon. No, Pokemon. Was, I, I saw actually, like the first season. I watched the it game was it, okay. I watched it until it became bad. Okay. But I noticed you like you like it's not. No, it's like Pokemon. It's like it's not like the game. It's not the TV show. It's just like Pokemon. It's like it's just stupid. Like yeah, it's like no. So you just don't, you don't, don't like, like the this. idea. Overall, think about it like this. Okay, you go to your mom. Twelve year old, you go to your mom. And say, hey, mom, what son? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna run away and travel the world. Okay, have a nice day. Have a nice day. <laughs> Here's yeah. your backpack. Here's your hat. Your dad would support your your thing because he left me a while back. And there, you see that guy, crazy guy over there? He's the one who's going to give you um, whatever you want. And then you go out to him. Yeah, st- a strange old man gave me a ball and said, go out in the forest. And then once you, <laughs> once you open it, you notice there's three types of drugs. <laughs> Pretty much. That's how I feel like it. it I always it. feel like always something. And you know, then you, you wander the city, and then you come back as a homeless bum. Like, oh yeah, mom, how's it been? And that homeless crazy guy was fucking your mom the whole time. You know what I know? You know what's hilarious though? In Pokemon, like the real game, there's a dude after you get your Pokemon, there's a dude that gives you drugs. Like a guy said, item or receive drugs. But I know it's like they changed it later on to potion and everything, but it was drugs. That was the original prototype, right? I know. It was like, it was like what the fuck? Well, Pokemon was going for that edgy, edginess. Yeah, it's gonna be edgy, man. Yeah, but it but being a cat, like a little kid, for little kids. So yeah, because Pokemon I, came out of com, no, came out of Japan. The, and, Crazy as well. Okay, so why did you guys not like Pokemon but like Digimon? Tell well, me the main reason. There's a story behind that. So the church I went to said that Pokemon was made out of the demons and the devil. And all that, so my parents <laughs> okay, forbidding me. Fair enough. Forbidding knowing your church, me, forbidding me to go there. I mean, to see that or watch that. And every time I played it, they always took it away. And then when I saw it with my friend, I was like, "Oh, cool, let me play." He's like, "No, nah, losers don't play. Only I play." Okay, so why did you mind then? Do you mind because it looked cooler, and the church didn't even talk about it. But it, it, you knew it was much more worse, and it was much more. It had a little bit more adult themes. Yeah, it had fucking... Uh, Teen Lu- themes. It had, like, Devimon and shit and Lusamon. Yeah, it looked bad. I mean, the animation looked badass. Nobody knew about it that much. I mean, that's why the church and said, oh, it's bad. They uh, knew more about Yu-Gi-Oh. So they banned Yu-Gi-Oh, too, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, ma- that one's, I wouldn't blame them there, but Yu-Gi-Oh feels like black magic in a way. It involves that. Uh, yeah, it does involve well. that. Um, Even the Japanese name for the uh, Dark Magician was Black Magician. I know. So, Anthony, what's your reason? Why did you like Digimon more? I don't know. I mean, why not? Why all not? the evolutions, all the kind of designs and stuff. Looks cooler, right? Yeah. For, oh, for it, me, for uh-huh. me though, it was always the characters. The Digimon are replaceable, but the characters are timeless. Yeah, because if you notice... I like the character development. I really I like do. the Digimon stuff. That the was Digimon the first stuff. time they actually, I understand the story. Yeah, I just yeah, I just like the characters because they all have this. They have interesting problems and backgrounds and all this other stuff. So in, po- like, in Pokemon, they just Ash, 
Ash, I'm gonna go get his Pokemon. Okay, I'll help you. But did you know that's Pokemon's main special ability? It does not do this. Oh no, we better go get the Thunderstone. And then he loses. <laughs> Let's chase some more. No, but with Digimon, you figure out why did they leave there because they hid it there in the real life. They. No, no, they didn't know why they. See, the thing is, did you, uh, did, uh, first season, they didn't go there by their will. Because by, uh, by being forcibly taken to. Exactly, the and they, but they don't know why they were there in the first place, and they all have, you know, they all have, like, you find that on later on. They, they were given a, given a bigger task to protect it from. Uh... Yes, but they were chosen for a reason, and they weren't the first ones. That is true. They're sort of like the second uh, group to finish what they... Pre- we don't know how many groups there were, to be honest. Uh, that's that's well, the cool thing. Under- it's like all that happened before, too. It's like, whoa. And even the uh, Digimon, Des- Digi-Destiny before them, they had, the, they didn't want to uh, uh, just uh, draw new character palettes, so they just used the old ones. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, um, when is that new show or movie coming out? I don't know. It's going to be five... Uh, it's gonna be like a f- five short uh, movie pieces. Cool. So they're gonna be an hour long. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Japan is weird. Japan's weird, man. Don't do Japan. It's gonna be more than. I mean, I heard they have literally on TV sex shows. They do. It's hilarious. Hey, they got to give them credit for thinking outside the box. Yeah, yeah. they do think outside the box. I mean, look at the commercials. True. Oh, so, yeah. so guys. Oh yeah, that's what. Uh, what other um. What other shows did do you uh, remember really well? Billy and uh, Mandy. I like Billy and Mandy. Well, some of the Monster uh, Monster Rancher. The Health Monster Rancher. That was a uh, so, so, something I watched on uh, like Fox back in the day. Uh, okay, what else? Oh, what the Rans. <laughs> uh, what yeah. else? Um, a few other stuff that was pretty good. Barney. 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 That was, a, that was the, okay. That was when I was in three. Arthur. Arthur. And I actually never watched that show. I watched that. Hey. The Magic School Bus. <gasps> the Magic, Magic School, School Bus. Bus. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a good show. Uh, oh, yeah. man. Once you hear that intro, it's like, come on, we're going to go on the Magic School Bus, hey, man. It's a miracle they haven't made a movie off of that yet. <clears throat> oh. You heard it here first on Special Edge Strikes Back. Make the Magic School Bus the movie. Not live action. S- li- totally live action. No, no. Starring, starring Kristen Stewart as Miss Frizzle. Yes, with more crack. Hello? Or, uh, no, maybe Cameron Diaz. Yeah, Cameron Diaz as a sexy Miss Frizzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Joined on her by fucking, um, that kid from, uh, 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 the, 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 the kid from... Game of Thrones. G- Game of Thrones. Uh, two and a Half Men. Uh, uh, that grown-up show. Uh, modern shit. And and Jaden Smith, of course. Comes the magic school bus. Here you go. Your phone's ringing. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, that's right, Anthony. Mm-hmm. Tell her that she's not your bitch. <laughs> or, no, they'll tell you you're not her bitch. Yeah, she got to do everything for you. Both of you. Yes, that's, she always plays that card on me, okay? I do everything that she does, everything for me, and she see, and I try to uh, say that. So, no, I'm not taking this shit anymore. Yeah, stand up for yourself. You got to be a man. I have done that a lot, and she seriously uh, does uh, the opposite. Just leave the house, like, bitch, leave, and she'll start crying, and she'll say, she won't do that. that. <laughs> she'll, she'll dance, she'll be lucky to have me leave. She was, She even threatened to kick me out a few times. Hey, she, she likes playing that card, don't she? She, she yes. misses you. She's mentally and psychologically fucking with you. She is seriously uh, insane. Okay, she's mentally uh, unstably insane. Oh, like uh, his girlfriend, right? Fuck you. I mean, her, 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 her mother's crazy as fuck as he told me. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, she. Guys, is. let's start driving back already. Mm. Yeah, we'll just give it a little bit more time, Anthony. Hey, well, should we leave? No, 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 but the hard thing is how are we going to keep the stable if we drive? That's, that's, the, that's the problem. We can't keep it really stable if we drive. You can put it right here. Mm, I think it's good here. All right, Anyways, what were we talking about? Morpheus? Yeah. That was one I mean, mean Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith? Yeah, oh. about the Magic School Bus stuff. Magic oh, yeah, School. Magic School Bus. No, but I really want to talk about 
the, how we solved that problem that no one could ever solve. All right. Okay. So, uh, James, I mean Morpheus, uh, Lawrence Fishburne, Morpheus. Okay, we figured out something about Morph about uh, the James Matrix. Is Morpheus. Yeah, Morpheus. Okay. So Morpheus, that means God of Dreams. And He's that based makes off a lot the of, God of Dreams. That makes a lot of sense. Neo is based off Jesus. Quills. And then we have Trinity. Yeah, okay, so Neo, that's an anagram for one. It also means new. So he's the new one. He's the chosen one. So, Trinity. That's the only name that stands out because, like, three of what? Trinity? What? Trinity? Trinity? I mean, that doesn't make any sense, right? It actually doesn't make any sense. Why is there Trinity? Why is, why is the third girl on the, why is the third girl in the room, like, Trinity? Like, when the other two make sense, and then Trinity. It's like, why, what's, what's the logic behind that? So I think we found. I think we figured it out. Trinity. What else is a Trinity? What else is a Trinity? Uh, the Father, God, and the Holy Spirit. Exactly. So Father, Son, Holy Ghost thing. So okay, uh, Morpheus is God of Dreams, Father. Neo is the One, the Chosen One, the Son. So Jesus. Yeah, basically Jesus, Son. But here's the thing, Trinity. Should be the ghost, but she never died. Oh, but she did die, and guess what? She came back. So she's technically a ghost. Who end up permanently dying in the asshole. final film? Keep it stable. I mean, from here on, it's gonna be a straight shot, so I'm probably not gonna have a curve on which. Okay. Maybe I have to take that alternate route. Maybe. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Alright, so back to the topic. So long as we're driving. Yeah. Uh, okay. So basically, we figure that Trinity is the Holy Ghost. Problem solved. Boom. And then, are people still talking about this on the internet? I I honestly don't know. Okay, so maybe, maybe. And online forums and stuff. Yeah. Wait, so Anthony's more like the online forum guy with the um, fan fiction craziness. Huh. I guess. There hasn't been any information about this, but it might be, this might have been speculated. What? That she might be the the, 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 the Holy Ghost. Oh, but, you know, I mean, why, they, they made an Antichrist in that world? Smith. Oh. You get it? You get, you get it? The so, opposite? Go, go fucking bust. You're not supposed to do this, boy. It's illegal. It was yellow. It's illegal though, it's sent behind, five meters behind a bus. <laughs> is this the Satanist church or what is that? Uh, it's an Illuminati uh, center for Illuminati's. Yeah, it looks hella Illuminati ish. Illuminati man! Okay, bad. so what else is our like, uh, little topic? Uh. uh, uh Oh, me and Cody were eating pizza once, and then one of my coworkers has a dumbass. Oh, I showed you a picture of his uh, balls, and then he's all like, "No, it's an ear, man." Ear. And I go up to him and tell him, "No, he's like, but why the fuck do you have pictures of my balls, you gay faggot?" So he's trying to blame it on me, and then I said, "I deleted it. I don't want any pictures of your balls." <laughs> nice. You got my balls, man. Okay. Do you think it's too loud? What? What's too loud? I mean, yeah, it is a little. It is a bit. Yeah, it's loud actually. Roll, roll up the windows. This is the only part thing I don't like about the driving podcast. It's like it's loud. Now it's quiet. Hey, I mean, this is kind of cool driving podcast. If you had money to drive with a lot of gas, we'd have been doing that in a great position to put it in. Yeah, that's great. Maybe we should actually buy some kind of. Uh, I know there's some set. some things that you put it right here. We could put it right here. Yeah, like buy a whole setup. Be the first ever driving podcast. Driving podcast. <laughs> I mean, we actually have uh, good topics to talk about when. Oh, that rumbling is uh, kind of you know makes it kind of loud. We're all fine. Shut up! All all cars are loud. It's true. Um, Anthony. Oh, look, yes. tell Sebastian about that, that, the that Mazda. Doesn't he want a truck? Yeah, why? Yeah. Oh, okay, so how's Sebastian? How's the Jew? Uh, very Jewish lately. Uh, he's not with us in his podcast, so you know what that means. 
You know what he missed out? Who cares out? about the money grubbing Jew? Yeah, exactly. That means we can talk smack about him all we want. Man, that nigga crazy. He missed a day of shooting guns. Yep. Oh, oh God. Here's some. Here's something I gotta tell you. Yeah. Uh, I saw. Um, I was going through a whole bunch of junk mail and shit. Uh huh. And guess, and I saw uh, something that uh, Kevin wrote. I, I mean, cancer wrote. And, uh, and it was like something related to his uh, profile pic on uh, Facebook, right? Uh-huh. His pay- really? So I got to see his uh, Facebook shit. Uh huh. And it was he uh, got an updated picture, and it, like, I saw what he looks like now. Oh, he looks look- so fucking ugly. I like go Ugh, as soon as I saw that. Does he have more zits? <laughs> no, it's just wrong? like his head looks like a fucking deformed egg. So he has a lot of zits now. No, it's just, not even the zits. It's just like the Maybe. shape of his head is just disgusting. I mean, now he's got like little short hair. Okay, show us, a, show us a two different pictures. What he looks like in the past and what he looks like now. Fuck that. I ain't doing that fucking work. That's like fucking, I don't want to want to look at. I feel like I, I'd be tainted just holding those two pictures to get up together. Probably. I mean, that and I don't have a picture of him uh, from, you know, like before. I might have seen him around school on campus. Sometime. You know what he looks like. Oh, yeah. No, I heard that he doesn't go to school anymore. I know he doesn't go to school. He's talking about high school. Oh, high school. Yeah. Actually, I did saw, uh, see him uh, just say contract. Yeah. Kev, uh, I mean, cancer's pretty uh, pathetic, actually. I heard he makes money off of Valve uh, and all that crap. TF2. Minecraft. Yeah, TF2. I sell you a hat. Sell you a hat, man. Uh, it's really good. I made it myself, man. Do you think we could beat him up? Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Three of us, yeah. One of them. Nah, you know what? To be honest, that, like, to be fair, Sebastian deserves to, to do that the most because if there's anyone who wants to really fucking whack that dude, it's just, it's, it's fucking Sebastian. Mm-hmm. He Wait, would not hold back. So, okay, here, <laughs> let's give the people an origin why we hate Kevin. The cancer. I mean, cancer, cancer. Well, you, you see, him for food once. he, uh, well, I wouldn't do that to you. Might All right, so you. the person who the longest was Anthony or you? Huh? Who knew the longest? You, Cody, right? Sebastian. Sebastian. They went to, they went to elementary school together. They went to, but he's not here. I want to hear his story. Well, you see, the thing is, uh. We'll have to ask him me, next time. Uh, well, he, Sebastian's told me the story many times before. I'll be honored to tell it. Or dishonored to tell it. Um. <laughs> So, first day he sucked his dick. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Getting it done. Getting it on faggot stuff. Um, no, but seriously, uh, basically Sebastian was a fucking bully to uh, Kevin. He just like picking on him all the time, and basically uh, Kevin, being the way he is, he's all like, like, uh, 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 and then basically just followed him around, saying, "We're best friends now." And then Sebastian's like, "No, we're not. Stop being <laughs> retarded." Oh my god! Well, uh, I fucking uh, hate you. That's why I'm doing this. I'm not. Don't do it because I like you. No, no, you really like me. <laughs> I heard he was funny back then. He was funny in middle school. That's how I knew him. I knew him. I knew him because he was. He was. Uh, it was actually hilarious. He, you know, I'd. Uh, I was just like. Um, I was just waiting, like in a corner, for like a fucking. Uh, you know, like I was waiting behind like this fucking door thing ready for a class to start and then he like comes like like he just comes like up in my space near me and goes like no we gotta stop meeting like this cody like and i just like <laughs> that's actually hilarious he was that chinese guy right yeah no no he's uh he's uh fucking uh, he was that black. tumor guy yeah no it was just i think he was what he was he was a big war and he had he like, looked this. like mr potato head and mr he- potato I'm, I'm telling you that's what his uh that's what he looks like now, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> really? I swear to God, he, he straight up, you see his, like, what he looks like now, it, it's, it's fucking, it makes me want to vomit. What was well, his attitude back in uh, high school, anyway? Horrible. Like, he oh, was, like, okay. unfriendly? So, no, I, yeah, I'm unfriendly not... is like, you can't even, uh, Vlad, begin. Alright, so this is how we met. So, uh, I was friends with, uh, can I say his name? Who? The guy, you know, R... Retardo? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, Retardo. Alright, so Retarder. And then, um, Retard had a stalker. His name was Cancer. Wait, Cancer stalked Retardo? Yes. And Retarder hated him because he was stalking him a lot. Him and, um, 
Can we say Lesbo? Lesbo? You know, oh, Lesbo. Yeah. Uh, you mean, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's a good, that's a great name. She was funny. She, yeah, because she liked uh, Retardo. She liked Retardo. Um, and then apparently somehow, out of nowhere, they become good best friends. Because she is kind of like At first, them. I mean, when I knew him, he was a pushover. Everybody can get anything off of him. He is. I didn't do that. I actually tried to, I, tried, I was his friend. I didn't want to get stuff, and then when I found out I tried to get, like, I was kind of mean, I was trying to do it, but he didn't want it to. And then once he knew him, he was a dick. Yeah, he was a complete fucking dick. He was a big fucking dick. Once you know him really well, he finds a way to get problems with you, and he finds a way to take, always take stuff from you. Yeah. Well, you see, here's the thing about, here's the thing about cancer. It's, he's basically a girl... A girlfriend is basically is like he basically is like your bitchy girlfriend. He like yell at you and say, eh, deep problem. "Why don't you listen to me?" Uh. And then like um, and then basically you know if you start talking to another guy, he's like, "Why do you get talked to him?" Uh, it's like he's not like maybe if you stop talking to him, I'll I'll give you a present or something. I can I can oh. I can contribute, guys. I can contribute. And then when you like get mad at him and say, "Fuck off," he's like, "I'm sorry. I'll be I'll be better. I've changed." Uh. And then once he gets new friends. Or he's like, fuck you. Uh, fuck you. Oh, you're so mean to me. And this, this this new guy, he's so nice. He's so nice. Oh, tell him the story how you got the vice principal to get him in trouble. Oh, yeah. That was hilarious. Uh, so basically, Jerkoff was like saying, Oh, Cuddy, can I see your uh, your new uh, whatever thing? And I'm like, no. Like, oh, come on, Cuddy. Why can't I see it? It's like, I don't know. I, just, I don't really feel like it. So, so basically, after that, he goes like, Come on, Cuddy. <laughs> And basically, I don't just fucking punch him straight on the chest and go like, Oh! So I'm telling the principal. And she's right next to him. And then you know, so he tells the principal, he's like, He did this, and he did this, and I did this, and Okay, so, and then there's a, um, you know Ferrari? Yeah. So he was around there, but he didn't see what happened. Or he kind of did. You know, so basically, but he just didn't give a shit. Uh, you know, I love him for that. <laughs> so basically, um... I, uh, I, you know, he went and said, he squealed, and I, and she was like, Cuddy, did you do this? And he's like, he was coming at me. He had his arms like that, said he wanted to, like, take my wallet or something. I, that was pure self-defense. And then Ferrari was there, and then, you know, can, uh, Cancer goes like, tell him, Ferrari, tell him. And she goes like, oh, I didn't really see anything. And then she goes like, did he try to grab Cody? Like, I, I think so. Did he say something about his wallet? I, I, yeah, I think he did. It's like, uh, Kevin, you have to learn that you not take things from other people. Like, what, what, what? A good clutch. It was like, <laughs> and then, all right, so here's another story. Oh, shit, Why I, I don't think... I don't think the po- I don't think the the iPod got that part. I think uh, it it had a twenty percent dismiss, and I don't know if it got that story. Let's uh, re-listen to that later. Probably. I hope listening. So yeah, his so oh, his attitude like did a one eighty like became good. He was a, like a like half. He's a, he's a he's just a fucking parasite, is what he is. He's a, he's a cancer to society. Oh, and then we almost got his at, him, right? me. Me and him almost got our ass kicked because of his dumbass recording of giving a fight to the cops. Well, I wasn't there, so... But well, I was about to get my ass kicked. Yeah, because of him. We'll see how great he is. Not to mention, whatever gay thing that co- comes his way, where it's either My Little Pony, Glee, or Team Fortress 2, he fucking... He, he fucking oh, what he does is, like, he, he, he likes it. it. He leeches on it. He makes and it says, uncool. Makes it cool. He's like, oh, uh, Dis- Disney... Uh, 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 like, uh, TF2, uh, you know, like, it's so great, uh, Apple, uh. Oh, I think, yeah, he is a cancer. Whatever, whatever he, uh, whatever is, like, not cool out there, he has to love it. He's like, oh, yeah, I love my little pony. Uh, I love, uh, fucking, uh. And he takes that seriously. Yeah, I like, I love, uh, Glee. Glee is so good. Uh, I've I never like seen Apple. Glee. I've seen My Little Pony, and, uh. Why have you seen My Little Pony? Yes. No, I've never seen it. i seen one ha- uh, by mistake when I was flipping the channel. I actually looked at a clip just to see what it was like, and yeah, it's, uh, really, it's really molesty. I right. was going to say this. I mean, the, the show is completely not even a, uh, biased. Hey, is, is Bronies about, still dead, or are they still around? Bias. Okay, bron- the Bronies are still sort of half-half good. Half no, good. they're not. They're horrible. There's hey, are Bronies still alive, or are they dead? No, yet? they're still all around. It's just the thing is they exist on the internet. 
Oh, so they dim down now? Well, no, it's not. They've always they've always been down. They've never been that big, you know. They're, they're yes, just, they're, 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 they're all... there's a whole documentary off of these fuckers. Yeah, I know, but like they only exist on the internet, really. Well, let's not talk about. I mean, it is... I don't want to talk about. They're they're like worse than the furries. Furries. Actually, who do you think is worse, a brony or a furry? At least uh, furries have sex with other animals, but with you women. Uh, no, not women. Sometimes it's dudes in other, in, uh, you know, costumes. They just gotta close their eyes and say, Well, if I close my eyes, it feels like Them bronies like are just big, uh, giant... Fags. Fags who are fat and have I've never heard of any of that, so I'm not caring. And they look... Okay, and, now here's the real question, Vlad. Bronies, uh, furries, or weeaboos? Oh, fuck, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Okay, so with weeaboos... They Maybe. have sex with pillows. Yes, but you can find a hot weeaboo girl. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can't. There's no such thing. With bronies, there's no girls. No, there are. It's just... They're fat and ugly. No, that's the weeaboos. Um, no, there are there are brony girls, but the thing is, they got they want nothing to do with brony guys. Because, like, they, they, they get it. It's like, because My Little Pony is a little girls show. They're only doing that for nostalgia. Mm-hmm. And because it's cute. And then, uh, they get away with it. They, can, they can get away with it. It's pretty much an orgy with blindfolds. Yeah, like oh well, if I you know it's not gay because uh, we're in furry suits and you know let's go I'll take, let's I'll go take, yiff. I'll take my chances with the furries. I wouldn't. They might rape you. Yeah. They're on. Uns- they're How a little more you? unstable. I've seen some of the furry stuff being raped by tentacles. Uh, Ew. You live uh, in the fourth, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's disgusting, Anthony. Uh, what would you pick, Anthony? I mean, so Cody. What do you mean, pick? As in, which group would you pick? I'll I, go. Well, I. Well, I'll go with the weeaboos. Wait, what, when does start into like picking what you want to be? I oh, said like what you hate the most. Oh, what I hate the most. Oh, then um, that's easy. Uh, weeaboos. Weeaboos. Because eh, yeah. you can't talk to them. No, they're not so bad, because it's like, I mean, come on. Oh, no, no, bronies are worse, because they're like Minecraft. Oh, well, not I always. I seriously have no bias for either, so... I know, because you're a weeaboo, so... Don't say I'm a weeaboo. You're borderlining. I think we got to save you. you right. Remember that uh, little uh, snowman thing you showed me? That's borderline weeaboo. Wait, you mean uh, Jack Frost? Exactly. Oh, whatever. Well, I got takeoff. Uh, this is uh, me. This is uh, Anthony, and i uh, see you next time. Oh, okay. Talk. Peace out. Okay. Bye. Later. Bye. Continue the podcast without me. Guys. Okay. Bye. Oh, that was house. yep. That was Rex leaving uh, Special <laughs> Ed Strikes Back. Shitasaurus Rex, I like that. Yeah. Well. Well, we gotta save Anthony. We gotta save time. Anthony from his weeabooism. God, how did he become a weeaboo? Years and years of anime and being alone in his mother's house for so long. I think that's a. Isn't that a big symptom of a weeaboo being with their parents? For so long, in your, a, by yourself in your room alone with no other friends. No that's pretty much the symptoms. Then you then you start looking at hentai, and then your realities between what is anime and what is real life become distorted. So please don't become a weeaboo. No, it's not a good cycle. Same with the uh, uh, brony. It's the same thing in a way. Some most bronies are uh, weeaboos. Ooh, but you know what'd be really bad? A what? brony weeaboo furry. That'd be the creepiest, rapiest thing ever. Yeah, or as I like to call them, autistic kids. Autistics. Hey, what's that drug call that they use? Adderall? Adderall? Yep. I heard they use that in professional gaming. What? What? You know? What's Adderall? It, it makes you focus. Oh, shit. The Columbine pills. Yeah. Don't do that. That's what uh, the fucking dudes at Columbine did before they sh- uh, shot up the school. Oh. Yeah, that shit makes you fucking twitchy. That's, that's what we call the sh- school shooter drug. So that's the one, but they are focused. Yeah, they're focused. Fo- yeah, no, they're focused. But over time, if you've done that for like at a really young age, it messes with your head, and you can't, uh, you don't make the best decisions, and then you shoot up. Next thing you know, you're shooting up a school. Schools are for, for, for schools are for tools. <laughs> schools are for tools. But I go to one. <laughs> Zeros are. I mean, here. Uh, hold up, her pants are ripped.
What? Where? Oh, no. Does she look hot? Oh, yeah. She you turn here or up there? Mm, here. Anyways, um, yeah. So, uh, this has been quite the podcast now, hasn't it? Yeah, we talked about everything, and then all we're missing is having a through it with Sebastian. Mm. Four way, I mean. Yeah. Oh, you nasty. Keep, keep that on the podcast. I don't know how I'm going to keep that out of the fucking car, though. I'll open the window. Oh, God, fuck. Okay, that's that's a lovely way to end this podcast. Uh, yeah, that was Fort Attack. Uh, well, this has been another thrilling conclusion of Special Ed Strikes Back. See you next year when when uh, more like more more hilarious videos come out. Am I right? Yeah, more like uh, weird stories and stuff. Uh, more, more like whatnot. a bunch of weirdos talking over a camera. And then people are looking at us. And then people are looking at us and say, "Why don't guys- they just go to like? Don't they have like jobs to go to and school and don't they do have like normal lives?" Jesus, yeah. get a girlfriend. <laughs>